This video is about the different losses in DC generator. So while a DC generator is in operation, different kinds of loss happen. happen. One kind is a copper loss. The copper loss is of two kinds. One is the armature CU loss. The loss is happening or the I square R loss is happening in the armature windings of the generator. These losses account to around 30 to 40 percent of the total loss which happen in a generator while it's operating on the full load conditions. While the other, lo other loss which happen is the field copper losses. These losses happen are the I square R loss or the CU loss is happening in the field winding and this account to around 20 to 30 percent of the total losses. The other kind of loss is the magnetic losses. This happen due to the hysteresis and the ED current effects. These losses account to around 20 to 30 percent of the full load losses in the generator. The other kind of losses are the mechanical loss which happen due to friction and air This video is about the different power stages of a DC generator. At the first stage, the mechanical power input is given to a generator. This is usually a turbine or a rotor or a, it, can, it can also be a motor which rotates the shaft of the generator. As the shaft of the generator rotates, there occurs a magnetic and a friction losses which the generator has to go into. And after the magnetic and the friction losses, the electric power is developed in the generator which is known as EGIA or it can be given by EGIA. IA is the current which flows in the armature windings. And after the CU losses which happen in the armature and the field windings, you get the final electrical power output which is the output power of the generator which is given by VI. I is the load current and V is the terminal voltage which is available across the load. And this gives the power output in watts of the generator.